How's everyone doing? Well, welcome. Five minutes of faith and fitness. Let me plug on this in. And we're going to get fit physically and spiritually to serve not self, but to serve others. Let's get going. And uh, I was thinking about our age and how young, how old you are. But we have to about 10, 20 year olds. Are you guys young? They would all raise their hand. Yes, I am young. But here's the thing. We cannot measure how old we are by our birthday. That sounds silly, right? But take a look at this. I believe that we measure how old we are by our death date. Well, that's weird. How do you know when you're gonna die? Exactly, you don't know. Hey, if I was, I'm 50 years old, and if I knew I was gonna live to 95, pretty young. But if I was 30, uh, 35 years old, and I knew I was gonna live to 39, pretty old, right? So we can't measure how old we are by our birthday. We measure by our death date and exactly that. No one knows the time, the day, the hour. Our life is nothing but a vapor. It's here one day and gone the next. Here's what it says in James chapter four, verse 14. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Hey, we have this life expectancy of not knowing the hour, the time, the day comes like a thief in the night. We don't know when the Lord is coming back. And so with that, we are to do what God is calling us to do in this little time. That dash on that tombstone, I always talk about that dash represents what have you done in that time this little bit of time that we have here this is a little bit of time just a vapor it's a mist but eternity is forever it's on forever with our king our lord and savior so what are those things that you are doing today don't take it for granted and say you know what when i'm done with all my fun life and and doing all of the, the great things that I want to do for me, 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 then I'm going to get back to the Lord's business. Don't do that because no one knows. You don't know how much time you have. And we're all getting older day by day by day by day. There's a um, couple of funny things that I've, I've looked up here. How you know you're getting older. Number one, you know you're getting older when you sit in this rocking chair or your rocking chair and you can't make it rock at all. You know what I'm sure you can make it rock. Number two, you know you're getting older when you sink your teeth into food and then they don't come back, right? They stay there in the food. Number three, this is for us men, when you have more hair in your ears than you do on your head. And number four, you know you're getting older when people call you at 7.30 p.m. And they ask you, did I wake you up? And number five, you know you're getting older when you have a party at your house and the neighbors never knew anyone was there at all. And so we know that we need to do the Lord's work. We know each day by day by day, we are getting older. So what, what do we do? God cares about the plans that he has for you. He wants you to understand that. And so how do we understand that? By drawing closer to God and doing his will. In verse 15, it says, instead you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or do that. Right? Because we don't know what tomorrow brings. So if the Lord wills, always in your prayer, if the Lord wills you to do dot, 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 let it be the Lord's will and follow what his will is for you each and every day. God bless.